104.7, The Cave plays pure classic rock. 104.7 The Cave, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Mary Jane's Last Dance. I'm like the intern. Good morning. I've got Angus Young from ACDC on the phone today talking about their new album, Rock or Bust, comes out today. And what's the meaning of the album's title? Well, it's the attitude of the band from pretty much uh, the beginning. It was always a band. That, and I guess the style of music we played being rock, rock music, it was always a go for broke attitude. Because even when we started as a band, uh, the current trend of music at that time was very, it had gone to the softer side of music. And uh, so it was going to be a challenge that if we could even get, you know, uh, people to even pay attention to what we were doing. So I know this is going to be a hard question for me to ask you and definitely a hard one for you to answer. But um, how was the band's decision to continue on without your older brother after he was going through his health issues? Basically, uh, after the last album and tour, I mean, we were on the road for two years. And then after that tour, it was pretty much, I mean, we were waiting on to see how my brother was doing with his health. So um, it really, I suppose it, it boiled down to that, you know. And when he, you know, he himself said he couldn't do it any further, it was then, you know, do we keep going, you know. And he was of the opinion, yeah, you, we keep going. So usually Malcolm had a pretty heavy hand when it came to putting together the songs that you guys did in the past. This was taken on by you for this album. How'd you put the new album together without your brother? Malcolm and myself, we used to always, besides working together, we used to always, always work up a lot of ideas, especially in the beginning. I mean, when the two of us usually sat down together, the two of us usually had piles of ideas that we'd bounce off each other to see if we thought, you know, which ones would be good tracks uh, to work on. So basically for myself, it was pretty much doing the same thing. You know, it was ideas that I had that were newer ones. And also the only difference being Malcolm wasn't there, you know. We'll get to more with Angus Young from ACDC on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, I'm Mike the Intern on the phone with ACDC talking about ACDC's new album, Rock or Bust, which comes out today. Now, you had some help from a family member to help you put together this record, right? I got my uh, nephew Stevie in to help me, uh, you know, and he could, you know, I, at least I had someone there to bounce off. And within the two of us could then go through a lot of the material and, and sort of say, well, you know, yeah, this will work. This is a good riff. This is a good rock hook. Yeah. So you felt Stevie was the right man for the job? Stevie had worked with the band before and he plays, I mean, he's the closest thing to Mal. He plays that solid, hard rhythm. So he was the first one that I could even think of that, you know, maybe could, you know, fill in Mal's part, especially for the album and touring, you yeah. know. We'll get to more with Angus Young on the way next, but first, it's a deep cut from the Rolling Stones, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, The Who, My Generation. Good morning, I'm Mike the Intern here with ACDC's Angus Young talking about their new record, Rocker Bust, which comes out today. Now tell me about some of the songs that you like on this new record. Yeah, well, I'm biased, you know, I like all 11, you know. <laughs> you know, you put a lot of work and effort into uh, you know, what we do, yes. So I'm proud sometimes that we even finish uh, some of the tracks and people, you know, like them. All right, one more question. I heard a rumor that you actually caught fire to one of your amps while you were making this album. Yeah, you know, when we were doing the title track, uh, Rocket Bust, I know uh, when we were actually recording it, uh, Brendan O'Brien, the producer, he was sitting in the room actually with us, and he was shouting out to me as we were playing away. He's going, Angus, Angus, you're on fire, you know? And I thought he meant my playing, you know, but uh, it wasn't. It was my amp was going up in smoke, you know. <laughs> Angus, thank you so much for your time this morning. We've got a six-pack of Pure Classic Rock on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave plays Pure Classic Rock.